everyone welcome back to a brand new dev vlog in unreal engine so we made a lot of changes since our last dev vlog so uh, we kind of gave a huge makeover to our landscape so we have uh, we found this um, cool auto landscape uh, material instance uh, from the rpg template the moors rpg template which is available for free download on unreal engine marketplace and um, it has um, a really cool bunch of layers in it and um, yeah we have um, replaced our traditional material layer instance which we had in our project with this new um, landscape the auto landscape um, instance and you can see when the slope is quite high and it paints these rock kind of te textures uh, which uh, makes our mountains look pretty cool you know so it's looking uh, pretty vibrant now so that's the reason we went ahead with that and I can show you what I mean. So I select my landscape and if I go to paint, you can see that we have um, a bunch of new layers over here. We have also taken uh, our, our legacy layers from our previous material instance over here, the grass and the forest and um, the beach. Um, and we also have a bunch of new layers over here. So this is really cool. So this has widened um the layers for our landscape and um, i can use it more effectively now so that's the main change which we did and um okay we also have uh, the first quest almost completed so it's more detailed now we introduced some ui overlays for interaction with the uh, objects and uh, also bot uh, and um yeah we can uh, i can quickly demonstrate this right now so let me quickly save and then I play. So the first quest, humble beginnings, go to bot is my objective. So I go to bot. And when I reach bot, I have this new overlay over here. Um, press E to talk. And I have this dialogue sequence which is being triggered. So I just skipped through the clips. I mean, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, it's all coming from narrative plugin, which uh, we got from the Unreal Engine Marketplace. And uh, as per the uh, quest, now we have to um, look for Bart's key near the rusty well so it's over here so we come over here and then yeah there you go there is the key over here when you're near it you have this press e pickup and the key disappears so that means it's added to our inventory it's with us so we need to return it to bot now and yeah there you go so now we need to talk to bot and finish the conversation it's completed so it's pretty cool. So we achieved all of this using narrative plugin. So we are using the dialogue uh, and the quest system from narrative. I can quickly show how it is set up. Um, narrative dialogue system. So here we have our whole sequence of dialogue. So it has three branches. So it's pretty robust. I have um, try to find out all different use cases and corner cases and uh, uh, set up this, these branches accordingly. So uh, that's looking more realistic now. Uh, of course, we are going to fine tune these dialogues and, um, and also the voiceovers. We will use proper voice actors to voice them later um, at the later stage of the game. But otherwise, this is how it's looking like. It's really cool. And also for the quest, I can show you how it is. So, um, but humble beginnings, this is how we have our quest. It's a pretty linear. We don't have several branches over here, uh, parallel branches. We don't have it at the moment, but we have a pretty uh, linear uh, type of quest sequence here. So go to Bart, talk to Bart, look for Bart's key near the well, return the key to Bart and talk to Bart and then we are done. The quest is completed. So that's pretty much it over here for the quest. So let me show you a couple of other things which I managed to achieve also. So let's walk towards the marketplace. So you see here that uh, the forest path, the rocky path gradually changes to a more smoother path because we are approaching, um, you know, the marketplace. Um, I, I still 
did not manage to um, put some uh, you know uh, fo foliage uh, on both the sides so it will look more realistic and ignore the ignore the uh, steep slope on both the sides this we need to rework and make it gradual the landscaping needs to be um, completed but this is our marketplace i am using um, uh, these cool plugins which are available in unreal engine so the mass ai the mass crowd and all these mass uh, plugins um, i have activated and that's how we have a bunch of uh, npcs uh, set up in our marketplace and they are moving around um, in a particular um, zone graph so they, there are paths set up for them to move around the marketplace i need to make it more randomized um, right now i'm using the uh, default uh, mesh which is of manis and they're walking around um, they're pretty smart uh, smart so they will try to avoid collision with me so they will move around me so they won't get collided with me so this is something pretty uh, handy and it's already available in Unreal Engine. All you need to do is configure it. So this has really helped us now make our marketplace more lively. Now all we need to do is basically replace these bunch of manis with the real NPCs and proportionately uh, spawn them in the marketplace. So hope you guys enjoyed this devlog. See you again in a brand new devlog. Until then, bye guys.